Shirade. So today wow. we will continue with the verse 51. Yeah. <laughs> From Shishri Vilapa Kusumani. Wow. So I, I will read the verse one time. Yes. O oh, Devi. Yeah. Goddess. Yeah. When can I, while you are eating, lovingly and attentively light a lot of nicely fragrant incense? Uh, fan you or render other services appropriate for that moment. Wow. Eating time, many services require. You can do that time, many services. That's very important time when you are offering that time very, very much services are there. Wow. That is the real service time. You cook is good, very nice, how you cook it, but how you serve it, that is the most important thing. How much love you give in your service time, that's very important. That is very hard. How you give and how you carry it, that is very hard. Sri Rath. Oh, Devi, Goddess, when can I? <clears throat> While you are eating, lovingly and attentively, light a lot of nicely fragrant incense, fan you, or render other services appropriate for that moment. Mm. So we continue from the commentary. Time you have to also check it. what you are eating, what you like more. That details you have to watch and you have to bring to serve them. That is the seva. Means you connect your art to art. You connect the feeling of the Ishtadeva in your heart, what they are liking and what most to serve. In heart you feel what you like, you serve that most. You cook something and you like that. From your heart you serve that one because you like it. Or she like, then you serve again and again that is a heart service.
eagerness is the very life of Raga Bhajan. Yeah. Srila yeah. Narutam Takura sings. Paramanagara Krishna. Tahe hao ate Krishna. Bajo tare vrajabhava loya. Krishna is the greatest hero. Be very eager for him and worship him in the Vraja mood. That is my question. <laughs> what is the Vraja mood? <laughs> Can you express what is the Bhajan? They pray. You are sorry, 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 go to the I didn't hear, I didn't hear the last part. And listen, read again. Krishna is the greatest hero. Be very eager for him and worship him in the Vraja mood. So we should <clears throat> uh, take shelter of Ragatmika Bhakta and uh, worship Radha and Krishna according to our mood and follow the footsteps of Ragatnika Bhakta. We should find some example on how to serve Radha Krishna and uh, we, should, we should follow uh, according to instructions from our Guru. We should always be eager and hopeful that one day we will attain uh, our Swarup, our Seva, and personally serve Radhika and Mohan. We should be very we should be very careful not to become not to become uh, uh, without eagerness, not to become complacent in our bhajan because bhajan has to be alive. We have to feel what we are thinking, what we are meditating on. We have to be present with our mind because if uh, there is no realization uh, during our meditation, then uh, we can say that our bhajan is not working, is not live. We have to be present all the time, otherwise uh, we will not progress nicely in bhajan. Bhajan has to be alive, bhajan has to be full of our realizations and as I said before, full of eagerness and hopefulness that we will ultimately reach our goal. Very nice. So good. This is the thing. And this is the Ragabhati. The way, uh, this is the way. And in this way, <laughs> when we come, we are out of the down, even you are daily. And you come to Vrindavan from Delhi, you see the difference. Buddha, when he was with Krishna, he is very close with Krishna. He thinks that Krishna is a Brahma, Paramatma himself. And he is everywhere. Why they are crying, these gopis, that Krishna said to him, Oh, Buddha, you are the best, my friend. You know me. I am with you. You, you are the 
son of Brahaspati. You have a power of Brahaspati. Means you are full of knowledge. You go. They are not very educated. Teach them. That they can understand. Nothing to cry. I am always with them. And I am no form. My formless. And I am always present every place and no place. I am the Brahma, I am the Paramatma, and I am the Almighty Lord. It's theirs. I can con convince them with the all of direction. All of them. Don't bother, my friend. I promise you, I will do this. They are innocent villagers. They have no knowledge of the Sastra. They don't understand the thing. I will go and I will explain that. <laughs> you believe me? It's a hundred percent I believe you, Uddha, because you are my best friend. And when Uddha will start going to Vrindavan, that time there was no road. He was in the chariot city. And when Vrindavan starts, he starts looking surprised. He what he see the dust of Baja start coming to his chariot and his vision start changing. What? What these trees? It why that they're not going upside? Why they are going downside? This why they want to touch to the earth? Why there is going and to touch? It was unique. The trees and plants is want to touch the land of Braja Bhumi. This is the first sign. It's still when you enter in Vrindavan and out of it, still you see that. Because even the tree wants to take the dust up to them. And this dust when come to Uddha, his mind starts changing. This is Krapa. This is the association, like their pran is telling. When we took the as association of that Brasika Bhakta, then we try to realize it. So that is the first realization of Brajma. Still that Brajraj is in, still in Brajdhava. Still Jamna is saying, still Govardhan is the same. This three thing is still exists, exists, is there when Krishna took birth here. And he is here, is still he is living and doing pastime. When we come to Vrindavan, we feel it. Because his lovers are here, his friends are here. His mother is there. 
गोपीज आर हेयर एंड राधा रानी इज हेयर सो आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट शॉर्ट बिकॉज एवरीबडी नोज दिस टाइम then you see by their association would they realize it they always feel krishna because when they could have come his friend see him first he looked from distance like a krishna because he dressed like that Similarly, he dressed like a Krishna, mm. so they think that is a Krishna from distance. When he comes close, is Krishna, but they start feeling that he is Krishna, and he start giving. Then he said, "I am not Krishna, but who are you?" He said, "I am a friend. You are friend, and you are for me is Krishna." They start giving love to him. You are Krishna friends, so you are my friends. So Krishna, my friends. ということは私の友達でもあります。あの来るここに来る関係性を持つ人たち、みんながクリスナの性質を持っている。Sorry.、Mm. So. That feelings only in the Braj Bhumi you can feel it. If I will say mother feelings, it will be very very long. <laughs> Then we we will long way to go. And when you will listen the Gopis feeling, the association is so important. No. That association. So we need the Rasika association, and to live in that Sri Ram. So that way, they think my Krishna. Anyone is attract is related with Krishna. They are mine. <laughs> Mother say, "Krishna, come to me." When gopis are sitting, one bee come, and they are telling you are here. Gopis are telling Krishna, "I don't believe you are only a cup to take honey." And we don't believe any black things. Go out from me, go out. And they think that Krishna is with them. So this was the beauty of Brajrath, and their plan is right. Without Rasik. Our coming to Vrindavan is not clear without Rasik association. My experience also, when I see my Guru Dev, and when I see my God brothers, my life changed. So Rasik association opened the vision relation in Braja. They say. My Krishna, you are my Krishna. I know you. So Krishna is friends. Krishna, Krishna is mother. Krishna, Krishna is Gopi's Krishna. Krishna is Radha. Krishna. So this way, you see the Radha Krishna. Here, Brindavan Radha Krishna. This Radha Krishna. 
Mother Krishna, friend Krishna. Can I say something? Yeah, please, I want that you do. I was just feeling when, when you were asking this question, the Braja mood, what is to follow? And then I was just thinking that Krishna has so many names and attributes, right? And one name he has is Mukunda, which means to liberate, the liberator. But another meaning of Mukunda is the one who liberates the gopis from their clothes. So that I was thinking that which Krishna we are looking for, the Braj Krishna, right? And who is he? He's a guru that said he's Gopi Janavalava, the dearest of the. No, I don't say that. The mantra is telling. That's why. Gopal mantra is telling this. But what do we know? Taco also, Guru. Yeah. That's where we chant the Kam Gayatri Mantra with this Gopi Janavalaba, and we all know who is the dearest Gopi to him, who is the one who completely can madden him and subdue him. That's Radharani. So it's just uh, this short uh, feeling came to me. Bajeta Krishna is different, only that is a gopi Janava lover. He is the lover's Krishna, who loves his Krishna, Radha's Krishna, Mother Krishna, who wants to liberate from all my covering. He want to make free from all my covering. That procedure. I'm listening, Prabhupada. Jai Radha Madhava. Jai Kunja Vihari. Gopi Janavallava. He stopped himself. He said, this is meaning of Krishna. Gopi Janavallava. Narayan Maharaj, you see, he said, Gopi Janavallava. Right or not? Suniti. I was thinking, Gurudev, that uh this morning we were reading or listening with the Russian uh, Dasis also. When Srimati Radhika was, you no, know, Krishna is Mukunda, but she is actually, she is the one that liberates him. Mm. Because when she is coming, and first she is going bathing in the Yamuna and her clothes, everything, she becomes so much absorbed in the color of charm because the Yamuna is also dark and then she is so eager to meet him. But once she is going and seeing him, she becomes all of a sudden so shy. And then I think, oh, why she becomes so shy? Just like you said that she looks at her toenails and then in the shyness, she develops ten times the rati that Krishna cannot digest. She becomes shy to attract him so that he becomes liberated from his clothes, Guruji. <laughs> <Three rats. laughs> then he's losing the flute, huh? peacock feather falling down, the dhoti gets loose, and then he's fainting. That is also another aspect of Gopi Janavalaba. <laughs> Five arrows. <laughs> the right. Pushpa Badaya. Yeah. Mm. <coughs> Be very eager for him 
and worship him in the Vraja mood. Uh -huh. When there is a desire to attain the Lord, contempt will come for all things that are unfavorable to Pajan. And what will come? Contempt. What is meaning that? Satisfaction. Huh? To be satisfied. Uh -huh. You don't like it anymore. Uh -huh. You have you something you like and you don't like anymore because you like you it rather more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> when compassion is unfavorable to Bhajan, then even that must be given up. Uh -huh. What? Saying when compassion becomes unfavorable for Bhajan, even this has to be given up. What does it mean? I don't know. Compassion should be given up if it's unfavorable for Bhajan. Maybe oh. compassion for non devotee that are taking you away. No. Compassion. Giving up. Yes. Any other desire, what is not favorable for bhajan, mm. Mm. like a manjaris. Krishna is, she's, he says, become losing his uh, flute and everything, but manjaris never lose. Because they are always in bhajan. When they are not in seva, they are always in bhajan. So the, uh, Krishna becomes compassionate to see Radhika, but Manjari was normal. So bhajan makes you normal, that you not become Diversion come in life. Bhajan means bhajan kriya. Means mind is put fixed in the past time. And you are doing chanting also when you come in sadhak there. Siddha deha is you do seva, but in sadhak deha you do. You do. Your bhajan, bhajan kriya. So, bhajan kriya is very important to keep more than important of compassion to bhajan kriya. So, means could it, we have to make the distance between our sadha group and siddha group shorter and shorter that we don't create gap and diversion. So, when we are chanting, we should chant so much that the distance becomes smaller, no? Yeah, but when the sadhak deha is there, I will come to sadhak deha. That time bhajan, that time bhajan will help me to go back. Mm. And when we come in the seva, we have to, bhajan is, this is bhajan there. Service is bhajan. We cannot be nervous not to do seva and we become nervous like Krishna and, and uh, they are excited. You have to balance both of them. Mm -hmm. Your service more responsible. You cannot be do like them. Who will manage there to them? You wow. have to take wow. care of them. As a manjari knows. Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Yeah.
May I say something? Gajo. Because I, I was really thinking what Gopinath was saying and asking when I read this sentence and all this paragraph will still describe even a detail, more detailed way. Everybody. <clears throat> yeah, I was thinking one thing that it's written when compassion of un is unfavorable to bhajan. Like you said, bhajan has to be fixed, otherwise it's not bhajan. But what is unfavorable in compassion? And something came to me that actually this quality of compassion, which is very valuable, like a quality of devotee, essence of his existence, the, the compassion can be also materialistic compassion. which is coming from the body and is directed to the other bodies, which is also very nice, but it's coming from Dharma. And it can be obstacle for bhajan, like you said, for deep meditation to understand what is more important, spiritual activity or just religious or dharmic activity. And I'm not sure that maybe I'm not so clear, but Bhakti Noda Thakur is saying there are two types of anarthas, Dushkriti and Sukriti. Dushkriti is anartha which is coming from sinful activities and it's very clear that it can be obstacle in bhajan. But how Sukriti anartha can be obstacle in the bhajan? And he explaining when person is in bodily consciousness he is acting from dharmic perspective. I want to be good. I want that everyone is talking about me very nicely. I want to do many pious, religious pious activities. But what is happening with my bhajan? No. Who will serve at attentively Radhika, who will bring the water, who will do th all these things. I'm not sure if I'm wrong, Gurudev, or maybe it's too complicated. It's very big subject because many of us are coming from maybe different religious backgrounds and influence is still very strong. So it can be obstacle because one time Raghunath was meditating and got medit I want to recover Radha Kunda. Then in another moment he said, what I am doing, this is Maya. I'm leaving my direct seva. But in the next moment, Radhika appeared and told me, no, 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 this is my desire. Radhika or Rupa Goswami, I, I forgot it. This is my desire. So uh, my understanding, and I was thinking a lot about that, it, because also I can see in myself how this Sukriti, Arnartha, can be blockage for real deep bhajan. I agree.
but I have to go more deep in this subject. You give yes. me homework today. <laughs> I cannot say like this. I have to go. I need one week time to realize myself. One new subject come to me to, for homework. And I will do this homework. Thank you. Thank you. That's my... You give me good homework for going deep. Thank you. I will do that. You remind me that I will share that. I cannot say now. It's not coming anything, but I will say, share it, read more. Share <clears throat> Even if my Ishta Dev speaks words that are unfavorable to Bhajan, you see, now, maybe Anandas Babaji will make clear, easy to my homework, okay? Rather. So even if my Ishtadev speaks words that are unfavorable to Bhajan, then I will not listen to it, wow. taking it that he is just testing me. Wow. It is said that once Shiradharani gave her prashadi tambul to one disciple of Sri Pad Gopal Bhatta Goswami on Ekadashi. While chewing these bitter leaves, he came to see Sri Guru Dev who then rejected his disciple for eating pan on Ekadashi. Yeah. Sri Radharani then asked Tubata Goswami, is the law of the Goswami's books even higher than her grace? Mm -hmm. Sripada replied, to Sri Radharani's lotus feet, that her natural mercy can never come in violation of sadhachara, regulative principles. He had rejected his disciple, knowing for sure that some test of Radharani was hidden in the event. Yeah. Sri Radharani replied, I understood that you have become qualified as a bona fide Acharya. When bhajan is spoiled, everything is spoiled. Sriman Mahaprabhu said, Krishna Prapira Upai Aranahi Pajanavine. There is no other way to attain Krishna than Bhajan. Bhajan is the means and Bhajan is the goal. Mahaprabhu himself was always absorbed in the devotional item of hearing. Day and night, Mahaprabhu was listening to songs of Chandidas and Ramananda Rai's play and verses from Krishna Karnamrita and Gita Govinda, together with Swarup Damodar and Ramananda Rai. Yeah. Mm. 
means Mahaprabhu's teaching by Arbi example that we have to we live in the practice. We never come out from the practice of bhajan means mind has to be one pointed. My mind has to be fixed in your yesterday. And the easiest process of the mind to fix in bhajan is today is a bhajan. And one thing more is the kriya. But mind will, if only you chant, and if you not meditate, meditate in the past time, then mind will start meditating outside. Some new topic will come to meditate. Your chanting is going on, topics are coming. So this topic is not a bhajan. One time we are chanting, at the same moment we are out. Mind is out from the bhajan. Only it's become machine. So bhajan kriya is written there. Bhajan kriya means mind has to be one pointed for the istadev radhika and the kriya. My thinking has to be also fixed in the past time. Some happening past time. This this has to be there. Bhajan and mind is busy in that chanting time also in yesterday. That is bhajan kriya. If you do one thing, it will be bhajan, but at the same time, bhajana abhas. Abhas means just formal chanting, but mind is not there. So it's not giving full self, full re result to us. Nama abhas. Is Nama Abhas happening? Our mind has to be with the mantra also. Then Bhajan Kriya happens, and it happens when I am in the pastime of Radha and Krishna. Radha. Yeah. And it is easy, only that mind has to practice this. If not practicing like this, then mind is influenced with false ego. That happened. If bhajan kriya happening, false ego automatic become reduced. And false ego is the disturber to keep myself material identification. Go on. The Acharyas are extraordinary knowers of rasa and their association can be attained by studying their books. What is meaning? Understand rasa. Rasa is a raso vaisa. When the word comes rasa, you have to understand is a mention about Krishna. Raso Vaisa is Krishna. He is a Rasik Sekha. He 
is the rasa, means Krishna. Acharyas is a parkya bhav written in this book. This book is written in parkya bhav. Means you have to intelligent to understand behind meaning also. Go on. The Acharya are extraordinary knowers of rasa. Uh, they are knowers of rasa. They have no doubt in Krishna. Mm -hmm. And they sign it with Krishna. Not knowing they unsign it, ten ten Bhagavad Gita Prabhupada say you have to sign, you have to accept it. No of the rest. Yeah, yeah. And their association can be attained by studying their books that contain everything they love. Yeah. By hearing and discussing these books and becoming absorbed in the mood of the Acharyas, the devotee can also become absorbed in these moods. Then we can say Mahat Bhave Rasa Habe Ashvadana. Rasa can be relished when we have accepted the mood of the great saints. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there are two things. One is rasa, one is a mood. Always you need to Mood means why you want to follow Mahat books to change your mood means feeling. Following the mood of Acharyas means taking the feeling of Acharya. Right? Different words of the mood, feeling is the mood also. Mm -hmm. When the feeling becomes thicker, it becomes your mood. Mm -hmm. Right or wrong? Yes. So they are so much in feeling, they, they make it a mood. Mm -hmm. they, they are living in that thickness. Thick. Mm -hmm. So feeling become thicker is a mood, mm -hmm. right? Radhe. <laughs> this is Radhika. Mm -hmm. Feeling is bhava, right? In Hindi, mahabhava. Mm -hmm. So who is the rasa? Krishna is rasa. A feeling is Radha. Mahabhava. This is Radha Krishna. So many names of Radha and Krishna. They cannot be without each other. Jai Ho, Kudi. Yeah. And can huh? I say one thing more? Yes, sure. <laughs> I'm making that you make more talk. <laughs> Share yourself. Why not? My girl, Sundar is telling. 
Yeah. The we were hearing from Rasa Mai that the Acharyas they know they are the knowers of Rasa. So I was thinking that uh, Prabhupada wrote Bhagavad Gita as it is. Yeah. And the Acharyas like Rupa Goswami and Raghunathas Goswami, all those Rasika and the Rupa Nuga uh, Acharyas, they they know Rasa as it is. Yeah. Why? <laughs> <laughs> because they are the the servants of Mahabhav, they are servants of Shimati Radhika. Mm -hmm. And they really know what Rasa needs. Huh? Mm -hmm. Rasa needs Mahabhav so that it can flow more. Yeah. I am sending you a, a Prabhupada class. You will receive this class. He's, and <laughs> Karna will translate is in Hindi. Okay. Okay, go to the Jai. Translate in English. Same class. And give to all Christian devotees. And okay. expect that. Next meeting will be your explanation of that class. Mm -hmm. I'm sending now to you. Okay. Okay, go to this. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. Then you see what Prabhupada saying. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Right. You you got it, I think so. Uh, one side. You will get it in two minutes. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Radha. And if you can, you can listen from Karuna, translate, why not today? Yes, go on. <laughs> you can do it. Very nice, Seva. Go on. No, that was it, Guru I was just having this uh, feeling that uh, to know Rasa, or the knowers of Rasa, can only be those who really know that the source of Rasa it's Shrimati Radhika. She is the source. She is the container of all rasa. So they know rasa or Krishna really as Radha's Krishna. And that makes it so special to learn from them about the meaning of rasa, rasa vaisa, bhava. First one. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Rasa vaisa. Rasik Sekhar, Bhaval Nasrati, Mahabhav, Bhav, and Madanaka Bhav. Bhav is coming, is Radha. Bhav become thicker, it become mood. Mood. Radhe. <laughs> so beautiful, my dear. Go on. In the previous verse, Shiragunath Das had served Swamini her drinking water. Wow. And her mouth water. Wow. After she had finished relishing Mohana's nectarian food remnants wow. with her girlfriend. She rather. And now he sees herself offering incense to her and fanning her. His mind was so absorbed in Srimati's relishing of Mohana's lip nectar that he only became aware of his service of offering incense during her meal after she had already washed her mouth. He had rendered his service at the proper time, but because of his ecstatic love, 
the succession of services experienced in transcendental visions was broken. Whenever Raghunath perceives some devotional service, he prays for it to Swamini's lotus feet. Therefore, the succession of services is sometimes disturbed. In the same way, Maharaj Sri Parikshit was sitting down, hearing the Bhagavad, waiting for death, while Sri Shukadev was showering him with nectar topics, which was also not always in the proper sequence, due to Shuka's ecstatic love. Sometimes he first told the king a story, which had historically occurred later, and then the earlier story. All this shows the super excellence of these topics. The self manifest pastimes are here in control and not the narrators. The celestial Ganges stream of nectarian pastimes spontaneously flows from the tongues of their saintly narrators. Loudly looking. Mm -hmm. Srinarada told King Prachinabha Parhi, O King, a stream of the quint essence of nectar in the form of narrations of Sri Krishna's pastimes flows from the mouths of the great saints and those who insatiably drink this nectar with their deeply absorbed ears will not be touched by feelings of hunger, thirst, fear, lamentation, or delusion. Sri Jiva Goswami comments as follows on this verse. The glories of the Lord that emanate from the mouths of the great souls are self-manifest and they remove all feelings of hunger, thirst, fear, lamentations and delusion, making the hearer experience his own bliss. The books of the Acharyas are like the twanging of the strings of their hearts that are like stringed instruments. <clears throat> the devotee will tune his heart no. In, in. <laughs> mm -hmm. so read again. Winning. I was the devotee. Little up and down. Tuning. <laughs> <laughs> like you come to low voice. We have to tune it because I'm a hard listener. <laughs> <laughs> 
Training is very important. Fire listening to this little loud voice, na? Training. <laughs> yes. Yeah. The devotee will tune his heart into the tune. Yeah, the heart to my yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not voice, heart. Oh. Means heart is some other place. Mm. <laughs> so attain my heart with Samni if you want to be Dasi of Radhika. If you want to be Sakha of Krishna. In your heart with Krishna. All right? This journey? Wow. So nice. Yeah. Now, Gurudev, we can give voice to many places, many people, but we can only give one time our heart. Yeah. And sometimes heart also becomes untuned with others. With the wrong association. Mm. Like my heart, my ear becomes low. I need high listening. Then I go in my touch to my heart. Mm. It goes straight to my heart. If I listen less, then it is stay on way. <laughs> if not, it goes inside to me. So I want to very loud listen. Other thing, always I listen loud. And this, why not to listen loud, to break, throw it out, other garbage. <laughs> we have to listen loud to change my journey. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The devotee will tune his heart into the tune of those stringed instruments. Ah, wonderful. Beautiful. Shishukha Muni. Guru Dev. Uh -huh. All these Acharyas actually are in the same tune. They are like a perfect orchestra. That perfect. Yes. That. And it requires from Sadaka <coughs> to tune himself according to the their tune of the heart. Yeah, oh, this is the rasa. Yeah. Otherwise, this, it will be very unpleasant to listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is, and they, it will be unpleasant to them to listen me. Yes. Well, different tunings are there. We are talking in Grama Katha and they are talking Ras Katha, Krishna Katha. So it will be different tuning talk. When we go to see Anandas Baba Ji or Binod Baba, other Baba, so we go and talk our Grama Katha. They and they talk only Krishna Katha or Radha Katha. So the tunings are different. I watch this. Adas Maharaj, Amare Garma Bra Afadagya have some problem come to my house. If this happened, this happened. So this is our tuning. Gram Katha material tuning. And their tuning is totally 
really connected with that. So we have to change our heart tuning because the heart moves different direction. You know? We have to tune it a little with them to understand. If not, then we will not understand it. That's the key point of success. Yes, Gopinath, you agree? Yes. Yeah. And we yeah. can say further in the words. <laughs> I'm sorry. It, it say lovingly and attentively. Ah. So Loving we have to tune, tune, lovingly and attentively. Yes. Wow. So I uh, do think that I am getting. I'm getting the love of my devotees, and they are very loving me, and they are always try to tune me, and that is my good luck. Honestly, I say you. Little I am tune myself. I want to bring my heart to the material circumstances. They do this thing. Honestly, I say to you, I show you all. Can you show everyone? What is translating? So they are all sitting here. They are helping Preeti, my daughter. This is Karuna. Kripa Moy. From Estonia. Right. So it means sometimes disciples catch Guru <laughs> Yeah, and tuning. It's Lila, no Guru Yeah. Maybe more than Mr. 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 Why you live here? Why? What? My full name is she lived. She showed no, she showed. So this they are tuning me. Lovingly and attentively. Honestly, I say <coughs> they are perfect orchestra. The mercy of my Gurudev. Gurudev expand. My Gurudev expand in this form. And everywhere in Russia, in Japan, in Europe, Russia, all Gurudev mercy. They treat me lovingly and perfectly. Right place. Sri Raja. Yeah. Read, my dear. And Guru, the more, more so, we listen, they are testing also. Testing by other tuning, sometimes they play and they test me that I'm in tuning or not. <laughs> really, Guru? <good, yeah. laughs> yeah, yeah. They are teaching my uh, Guru, not they are. Gurudev is testing through them. I, how much I'm a tolerant, how, how I'm <laughs> tuned or not tuned, I change my behavior, always they are checking. Similar like Gurudev. And I feel so proud that I'm still connected with my Gurudev. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so good. There is one other meaning of tuning. Come here, yeah, please. You see, now one speaker. 
<laughs> no, 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 no. no, no, I'm on you only car mechanic, you know, car, car mechanic. mechanic. <laughs> and when we use the word tuning, we make the car more faster. <laughs> and so from this point, I think our guru Dave, he is a master of tuning. <laughs> <laughs> so we can go much more faster. We have very wow. slow cars, <laughs> bo 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 <laughs> like yeah, here in India. <laughs> you see this? We are the tuk tuks. <laughs> it's tuk tuks. <laughs> And good they made some tuning and then <laughs> ring, then it, so fast. My God. So this is only what I feel. Sorry. Yeah. 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 I think we are near in, the, in the tuning. Uh, up tuning. Some, up -tuning. <laughs> up -tuning. <laughs> so this one. So, because I'm a mechanic. <laughs> no, no, no. No. <laughs> right, good. I don't know. I feel that you put in me, and you. This is the is spiritual. Mm -hmm. He's a divine. That I feel this, and you also feel like this. This is divine, mm -hmm. not in material level, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. This is divine. Mm -hmm. My Maria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Go on. Shishuka Muni said, The Gopikas of Raja ask Uddhava about you Krishna <laughs> in <laughs> private. Shri Jiva Goswami then asks, How can there be any question of confidential inquiry when there are millions of gopis around? The same tune resounds on all their strings instrument like hearts this place is inaccessible to those who have a different mood therefore it is called a private solitary play wow so so this is importance of Sajatiya Sangha. Mm. This mm. Gaura Sundar is reciting this. And he will explain you what is I our two days he is giving us classes and he is telling in this situation we get this one twenty. His picture is there or not? Yes, yeah, they're on the back. Yeah. Can you explain this? Not take the timing and not rush. Go in research. How they are researching. And they are teaching me, you can understand with that. <laughs> They are teaching. I am not trying to teach anyone. I am trying to realize myself. And how they are helping me you imagine this. We are all researching here. Everyone, everyone. How they are doing it. It's a surprising for me. Go on. Do we have this one, here? Yes. Are you want so, to do tomorrow? Maybe tomorrow is a lot. Tomorrow time. he will say. Yeah. Because that needs some time. Yeah. So and I have to find the yeah. verse we, we read before and I know tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. I will give you full time. He was a teaser. 
But I will request uh, uh, Deva Pran, if you have a time, the Pran, can you say about Prabhupada's class? Please, 10 minutes. We keep it here up to tuning and then <laughs> Prabhupada, what he is telling. Dev? Okay, go to Dev. Yes. Yeah. Next Come Saturday. To. Next next Saturday, yes. Not today. Not today. We have to translate it first. I have to ask Karuna. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. One say what Prabhupada said. One line say. Then they are interested, then you can explain. <laughs> One line say. If she will say in Hindi and you explain. Please. Oh, okay. Let, let me get Bhagavad Gita. One second. No, Bhagavad Gita is not that. His realization. Uh -huh. He's giving the class. In the class. You can yes. open the class, uh, Deva Prang, and then listen and say one yes. sentence or two. Yes. Karuna Prang. Yes. Come, come, come. <laughs> you read at Gopinath will. Answer. I could read, but... Yeah, you can read. Listen, listen you mean put it on? Prabhupada. Give the phone. I have it here, I have it here. You have also. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, we all have it. <laughs> Double. <laughs> yeah. Please, it's a beautiful. If you like, we will go to more deep. Yes. So, like Mahaprabhu was saying, we should be in that mood of Gopi Das Anudas Anudas, like the servants of the Gopis. Right, Guruji? Prabhupada is telling. Yeah, yeah, I'm just confirming. Mahaprabhu is saying, I'm not a Brahman. I'm not a Kshatri. No, 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 He's denied every Varnasam. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is saying that he's none of this uh, Vana Ashram, no? which we know, like he's not a householder, he's not a sannyasi, he's not a Vana Prashta, he's none of that. Uh, Prabhupada is saying, Mahaprabhu is saying, I'm not that. That's why Krishna in Gita is saying Sarva Dharma Pratyacha. Give up all Dharma, Krishna is saying in the Gita to Arjuna. So Prabhupada is explaining here the different dharma of the of the Kshatriya. The Kshatriya's dharma, for instance, is to protect the country. Um, the Brahmanas, what is the Brahmanas dharma? What is the Vaishya's dharma? No, in society. So, like all members of society have their particular dharma and position, right? So, the Shudra has a particular say, uh, position to fulfill the Vana Prashta and so forth. So, he's just mentioning that. And then surprisingly, Bhagavan Krishna is saying, give up all dharma. So that's uh, what Prabhupada is mentioning here. Uh, 
साथ होता है कि तू उपाधि सुन न हो जाओ उसके उपाधि सुन मन युग कम नो आइडेंटिफाई योर बॉडीली स्टेटस बा या so give up that identification with your body is the identification all all am i mukti upadishtu upadishtu na hone ke mai nirakar ho jata le ye jo ha hum log samajhte hain mai ye hai ye hai is ko chhod de to chaitanya mahabrata se so like mahaprabhu says give up all this identification i am this i am this this is mine like give up all that identification i need to this identification to live that you not become impersonal soul soul is soul come to the soul and not become impersonal impersonal means my body is not become that you are nowhere the form has to be there where what you are your identification is spiritual identification has to come divine identification has to come not live in material identification this will disturb you because of your false ego and is disturbing you so you have to come in the soul and not become live like soul mm -hmm. you have to be personal mm -hmm. and that personal is your form is spiritual form so yeah yeah he is silent he no bring up but he say this not i am not my about that no we have a something more to know mm -hmm. प्रभु प्रभु जय सो ही राइट इन पेज फोर स्वरूप स्वरूप सिद्धि बाय योर डिवोशनल प्रैक्टिस यू नो योर स्वरूप एंड डेवलप स्पिरिचुअल बॉडी एंड परफेक्ट इन दैट फॉर्म ब्यूटीफुल Mm -hmm. highest thing he is like telling go on. more or yeah is okay. little more here yeah. to see okay to brahman bhi nahi hai chatur bhi nahi hai sanyas bhi nahi hai brahmachari bhi nahi hai sab kuch nahi hai na hum dip puran chanarapati na jyoti ba ha to phir aap kya hai na गोपी भक्त पद कमल सो भक्त ऑफ द लोटस फीट ऑफ द गोपीज मंजरीलोंग टू एनी धार्मिक position then what is my position then he saying i am a bhakta of the lotus feet of the gopi i am not my body <laughs> sunyavadi i am sunyavadi no. not that i am nothing i am gopi bhakta no my um, gopi nath is not the both are there i'm here go to see i'm here yeah. i'm here <laughs> go on <laughs> वो जो गोपी लोग की भक्ता है कृष्ण जो गोपी लोग को पालन करते हैं गोपी जनो बल गोपी सेइंग हु इज द भक्त ऑफ द गोपीस कृष्ण इज द भक्त ऑफ द गोपीस डन कंक्लूजन आई एम लिसन मोर माय गॉड ओ Krishna is the devotee of the him you know uh, understand i don't know <laughs> i thought krishna is the supreme guru how, how, how can he be a bhakta of the gopis but yesterday we read about this chakova bird and not be the supreme and listen listen he's waiting for the drop uh, listen, listen what he is calling ba okay krishna ka kaam hai गोपी जानो भल गोपी और कृष्ण जैसे गोपी लोग चाहते हैं 
इस तरह से भगवान की सुख हो कृष्ण भी चाहते हैं किस तरह से गोपियों का सुख So Krishna is searching what kind of devotees he's searching the gopis who only think for the pleasure and the happiness of the supreme so Krishna is looking for those devotees who follow in the mood of the gopis karuna samajh rahi ho beta isko samjho vrindavan se gayi ho beta ji ji आगे बढ़े गोपियों की So for them, he lifted covered and he. Prabhupada is saying, "It's Prabhupada saying." You look so pretty, good for us. I'm the good of that. I'll protect you. So, just a, uh, Bhagwan Bhakta, chat hai Bhagwan kis tarah se shuti rahe hai? Kisi prakar Bhagwan ni chat hai Bhagwan ka Bhakta kis tarah se hai? So like the devotee is aspiring and praying how he can keep the lord happy in the same way the lord feels and thinks how he can keep the devotees his devotees happy and hundred person who deviate tuning then is problem if you have a tuning right never problem can enter believe me <laughs> and problem will come and go but it's not touching here go on more uh, or more you want to listen um or maybe i would just like to say <clears throat> You know Krishna in Bhagavad Gita explains so many things <clears throat> and finally he says this beautiful verse sarva dharman parityaja mam ekam sharanam raja and gurudev so nicely explains this after all that krishna has said all the dharmic injunctions uh, all the all the reasons to all the all the necessities for a normal civilized life Finally he says to Arjuna uh now forget everything i said just surrender to radhika just Which surrender to my love yeah so thank you dear kanaki shama shama the shama is an event at the croatia and i always i always feel feel, feel so fortunate that uh, we had gurudev's association and his blessings how fortunate we are that we can talk about uh, radhika and how fortunate we are that we got uh, gurudev's blessings and that we share this 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 rasa this rasa for shrimati radharani this is very rare in chaitanya mahaprabhu's appearance uh, in this age with the mood of shrimati radhika is also very rare so we are very very fortunate part of the gopal mantra Yeah. Yeah.
Prabhupada and Narayan Maharaj all they say this. Yeah. Yeah. And Prabhupada. You see, no one in the world traveling in Europe, any place, could not follow Prabhupada. All follow and Prabhupada is telling. Yeah. Take care. Jai. Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Jai Radhe.